Good morning everybody, this is Rachel Rose reporting on some natural products that I highly recommend. The first one is something I'm sitting on, it's my yoga mats by Natural Fitness. I'm going to hold it up for you. I actually have two here because I like the double layer, especially on my hardwood floor. Now, a few years ago when I started doing yoga again, because of my sciatica, I ordered some yoga mats from Walmart and when I got them they smelled horrible like these awful plastic chemicals and when I, I actually tried doing yoga on them even though they smelled and I got a headache so I sent them back and when I went to the natural food store in a town near me called Nature Storehouse they had these yoga mats made out of plant cellulose and I picked up two of them because I have five members in my family my kids like to do yoga they only had two in stock they were twenty dollars a piece um, but I've been very pleased with the results of these um, they're comfy they're natural they don't smell I don't recommend getting them wet because they take forever to dry so if you're gonna take them outside don't get them wet Try not to get sand in them because it's really hard to get the sand out. Um, but I do use them on the grass and I use them in my house. I usually double up. Now I'm going to give you an up close picture of just how worn my yoga mats are. Bear with me please. Now if you see here, there's a lot of wear and tear. This is because I have cats, I have kids, um, they pick at it sometimes, but mostly this is from them getting wet and then weakening, I guess, um, and they're two years old and my kids like to pick at stuff, so when they see a little weakness, they pick at it, but overall I am extremely pleased with the quality of natural fitness yoga mats. Back to me. Okay, the second thing I want to talk to you about is deodorant. Um, I live in upstate New York and every year we have a breast cancer awareness type parade and a lot of people I know have come down with breast cancer. Now I see that a lot of parents are having their young girls use the commercially sold um, antiperspirants. Now the antiperspirants you want to completely avoid because the aluminum in them is linked to breast cancer okay we don't want our girls getting breast cancer so I have some natural alternatives that I've always used they're wonderful this one I bought for my daughter who's eight it is crystal essence okay this is pomegranate scent um, they have a few different scents like lavender it's a roll-on smells wonderful I'm we'll gonna put some on right here in front of you. Woohoo! Okay, so this is a mineral deodorant. It's made with purified water, mineral salt, cellulose, which comes from plants, natural fragrance. Okay, so you want to look for the fragrance in a deodorant. If it's natural, um, then it's not a synthetic fragrance. Now, the synthetic fragrances upset your exocrine, endocrine systems. Um, your lymphatic system, they um, cause a lot of bad stuff to go on in your body. Um, so if you want to keep your body in harmony, you want to go for something that's aluminum free, paraben free, hypoallergenic. Um, so the mineral salts are great. If you don't want to smell, if you don't want a scent, they have just this plain old rock salt. You can get any of these at natural food stores. I actually got this one at Kitty Drugs, which is like a local drugstore in my town. Um, this is made in the USA, by the way. It's not tested on animals. No aluminum chlorohydrate. And they even have a little breast cancer symbol next to it, okay? Because even they know that the aluminum chlorohydrate is linked to breast cancer okay and girls if you don't know this now you do there's no excuses now now this doesn't this costs just about the same amount as your commercial deodorant 
And when you go in the deodorant aisle, you're going to see way more of the bad stuff than the good. So you've got to really look close for the good. Okay, now back to the rock salt. This is what I give my, um, this is what my 11 year old uses, along with a few other smelly ones. But this you just wet, it's just rock salt, rub it in your armpits. Now the rock salt um, kills the bacteria that's growing in there. Um, so you have extra sweat glands, a special kind of sweat gland in your armpits. And there's bacteria naturally on your skin. Well, they feed on this sweat that comes out. <clears throat> and it's the bacteria's byproduct that actually smells. Um, so you're smelling basically the byproduct of the bacteria eating whatever's in your sweat. Now, remember, um, you might think, oh, well, I sweat a lot or I smell really bad. One thing you want to consider is what are you eating, okay? Because uh, mostly processed food based or meat based diet is going to make you a little bit smellier than if you eat a mostly plant based diet. I'm not saying you have to go vegan or you have to go vegetarian, but you want to eat a lot of plants, fruits, vegetables, herbs, you know, anything that's going to make your body more alkaline. One thing I love to do every morning is drink my lemon water, which is just, this is was eight ounces of water. I put it in a glass jar I reused that used to have maple syrup in it. Added a little bit of lemon juice and voila, I have my elixir. It's great for detoxing, great for digestion. I look badass drinking it, just joking. Makes you feel good. Vitamin C, great for your immune system. Um, wakes everything up in the morning. Back to deodorants. I just found this one online. Um, I'm a member of the Grove Company. <clears throat> and what you do is you pay, I don't remember how much it is honestly, it's like 20 or 40 bucks a year. Um, and all year long when you order stuff you get free shipping. So, but they like you to order something once a month. So I just found this, it's called Smarty Pits. Sweet orange and bergamot deodorant. Your purchase helps save lives. Okay, this is with baking soda. And um, this is also, they donate a portion of the sale to life-saving breast cancer research and survivor support. So again, we're talking about breast cancer. Um, ingredients in this one, arrowroot powder, sodium bicarbonate, which is just baking soda, which many of you probably know, baking soda deodorizes, it takes the smell away from stuff, beeswax, hydrogenated avocado oil, um, a triglyceride, which is basically a natural preservative, coconut oil, sweet orange essential oil, bergamot essential oil, lemongrass essential oil, rose absolute, okay, so these essential oils, they kill germs, they um, are natural, they're actually good for you. If you ever study aromatherapy, you'll learn that um, we can actually use these essential oils to help make us feel better, to help fight off symptoms of certain sicknesses. Oh my gosh, it smells lovely. I'm going to put it in this pit so then I can go and I smell lovely completely natural so I got this one online at Grove Company the two this one I is Tom's of Maine okay I bought this for my 11 year old son last year well n not last year it was just a few months ago but it was last school year okay because we're in the summer now so this is Tom's of Maine for men made with sustainably sourced aluminum for lower carbon footprint okay so this is a different type of um, aluminum. Wait a second. This has got aluminum? This has got aluminum chlorohydrate in it. That's something that I'm not into. So I'm very surprised why Tom's of Maine would have that. And I didn't see that before. I was looking at the brand Tom's of Maine, which I'm usually very happy with. This says made with recycled aluminum versus virgin aluminum. I don't think I'm going to have my son wear this anymore. I mean, I don't know if boys get breast cancer, but it says it's non-irritating, no artificial fragrance, no petrochemicals. That's what I was looking at. But I am concerned about the aluminum 
in it. So I'm going to have to tell him not to use this and I'm going to have to research this. Because as far as I know, aluminum chlorohydrate is linked to breast cancer. So we're going to toss that one. Now let's look at this one. This one has no aluminum, no propylene glycol, no artificial fragrance, okay? Cedarwood and juniper effectively neutralizes odor and absorbs wetness. It's Schmidt's natural deodorant. It's very earthy looking. It's got like a cross section of a tree with its beautiful rings. Um, it's got arrowroot powder, coconut oil, shea butter, baking soda, fractionated coconut oil, jojoba seed oil, Himalayan cedar essential oil, juniper essential oil, and vitamin E. Oh my gosh, that smells exactly like the woods. So if you want to smell like the woods, this is the one. And I've already got two different kinds in my pit, so I'm not going to put this one on. But that concludes my deodorant review. Now moving on, I want to show you what's in my makeup bag. <clears throat> I only wear natural makeup and um, Burt's Bees is one of my favorites. I have Burt's Bee lip gloss which is almost gone. I get this at my grocery store. Whoops, there we go. Burt's Bees, they have all different flavors. It gives your lips a nice shine. Um, they have 12% post-consumer plastic recycled, you know, into this little thing. Um, no animal testing, made with all natural ingredients, 100% natural, so you know this stuff mmm it tastes so good this is doesn't really say what flavor it is but it oh it's peachy so this is for someone who wants more of a natural look but you like the lip shine, the lip smoothness, but I also have lipstick from Burt's Bees. This is pink. Completely natural and very pretty. This is Lily Lake. So you can go to Burt'sBees.com and get any of their products, but my grocery store sells a lot of Burt's Bees stuff. What else do I have in my pretty makeup bag? I also have bright red for those sultry nights. My daughter got into it so it's a little messed up looking. I'm not going to put it on because I already have pink on. But this one's very pretty. I like this one. I am also a customer of Bare Minerals which is um, a makeup company. Uh, they're a little bit expensive but it's totally worth it because they use all natural ingredients um, they make everything in the USA you know the US has strict rules about what can be in makeup whereas other countries don't and a lot of these companies like Maybelline and um, you know just your I can't even think of all the products out there now all the companies but the commercial companies that that um, you know are basically your mainstream companies. A lot of them use um, animal products. They'll call like a natural fragrance. It might be um, like skunk musk or something like that. Um, they use a lot of petrochemicals, which are not good for your health. Bare Minerals uses just natural minerals from the earth. Um, I use this foundation which actually is meant to help your complexion look better and the lighting in this camera is not all that great so it probably don't look too flattering but um, I am wearing this even though it's not my color I ran out of my color so I'm kind of just using this till then but it's broad spectrum SPF 30 which is good to keep your face protected from the Sun um, it's tinted hydrating gel cream so it keeps your face moisturized it keeps your face um, blocked from the Sun and it covers up blemishes. Uh, there's titanium dioxide in it. 
but as far as I know, that's okay to put on your skin. I also get their powder to kind of, it's like a perfecting veil, they call it. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with this because I get shiny, you know, so this is good. And um, they always send a sample, like a free sample with every order. So this is what they sent me this time. It's uh, samples of different colors of powder. So you can try them and see which one is best for you, which I like because when you're ordering it online, it's hard to tell like what your color is. So I like that. They've also sent me um, some free blush. I don't use it that often, but I look hot when I do use it. Um, but yeah, this is Air Minerals blush. And they even send you a free little, um, whoop, I just dumped a bunch out. They even send you a little like makeup brush. They've also sent me like this bronzing powder, which I think I'll put some of this on right now to give me kind of a little summery glow. Normally I would use a brush, but this works too. And they've sent me this eyeshadow, which I haven't really gotten too into because I'm not very good at eyeshadow, but it's like a smoky, but anyway, it was free. I mean, and if I ever decide to watch a tutorial on smoky eyes, I'll probably look hot. I just got bit by a red ant. What they do is they bite you and then they turn around and they pee on the bite. So that's what burns. It sucks fire ants. Out in California, they have fire ants that are like this big. I mean, they're freaking huge, way bigger than the ones here in New York. And oh my God, when they bite, does it ever hurt? Anyway, so at Kenny Drugs here in my home, right here in my town, um, they sell Physician's Formula, which I'm sure you can get online too. This is my organic mascara. It's not made with crap. It's made with just natural stuff. Um, doesn't say what's in it. I'm sure it did on the package, but it's 100% natural origin. And I've actually looked into how to make mascara, and one thing they used was charcoal. Now, I know you can eat charcoal, and it helps detox you from, like, you know, like, poisons and chemicals that are, you know, making you sick and stuff. So, I have no problem putting charcoal on my eyelashes. Well, that includes my beauty bag, my makeup bag. I don't have much makeup, but what I do have is completely natural. The next thing I want to talk about is hair color. I buy, um, <clears throat> I call it henna, but it's not just henna. It's actually like a bunch of different plants. Um, here's one. This is like a darker hair color. This is what I have in my hair right now, which is pretty close to my natural color. Um, it does not hurt your hair. It's completely natural plant dyes. There's no ammonia, no peroxide, no metallic salts, no PPD. It's cruelty free, no animal products, no animal testing. Okay, so the women in India who have like the most beautiful dark hair, they use this sort of stuff. They paint their skin with it and um, the different colors that you can get, um, they're mostly dark colors there's not too much with blonde. I mean, if you are blonde, you can get like a neutral and the plant materials in this will condition your hair. They make it soft. They make your hair grow faster. Um, and I've had a lot of issues with my hair recently. I was trying to go blonde, so I kind of killed it. It didn't look right. It turned green. And eventually, you know, and the lady, I went to a few hairdressers. They all cut my hair each time. And so it's like really short and not that great looking, but um, the henna is helping it grow back faster. It's keeping it smooth and I've got my nice normal color, not green and blonde and brown like I did. So this is totally organic, USDA organic. It's light mountain natural. And this is what it looks like. I buy it on Amazon. They send you like three of these boxes for $20. Um, 
<clears throat> it's four ounces. Basically, you can just mix it with hot water. You want to make sure the, the water is heated in a glass, not metal, container. You don't want any metal in your hair when you're doing this. You don't want to mix it with a metal spoon because it reacts with the me with the metal minerals. I use filtered water, or actually I use um, reverse osmosis type water that has no um, heavy metals in it because they mix with the um, plant materials and they make more of a reddish tone, which is okay if you want that reddish tone. Um, I'm kind of over the reddish tone. So there's this and then... Um, when my gray starts coming back in, I'm going to use this one, which I've used before, and this is still in the package. Um, I bought them together. Honestly, I don't remember how much it was for these two together, but it's color the gray, and it's basically just like a natural brown. It'll be just a shade lighter than what I'm using, um, because the henna washes out in like just a couple weeks, and then you have to reapply, but it's completely natural, so, and it does not... I mean, it smells herby, but it doesn't have that nasty chemical smell that gives you a headache when you when you go get your hair done, you know. But you can get it for all different colors. I mean, you could if you want more of a red, or if you want more of a brown, or if you want darker. But the color of the gray specializes in covering up the gray. Okay, so I'm going to use this next. My gray is starting to come in underneath here, and um, this is what I'm going to use. Next, I want to talk about. Some essential oils. Um, I am aromatherapy student at American College of Healthcare Sciences um, and although I am not allowed to uh, what's the word I'm not allowed to treat anybody I'm not allowed to diagnose anything um, basically, I'm not a physician. All I can do is educate you on what I know about essential oils and how they help. Um, it's not for everybody, but, well, actually, I believe there is an essential oil for everybody. And what's funny is that for any ailment you have, there are so many essential oils that can help with that, that if you don't like the smell of one, just explore. Whoa. And... I'm sure that you'll find one that's great for you. So I made a rosemary hair oil, which is really good for dark hair. Rosemary stimulates new hair growth. Um, it's good for people who are going bald because it stimulates the hair follicles to keep working. Um, and it, it brings out like the darker tones in your hair. I mix this with olive oil because olive oil is really good for your hair, but there's a number of different base oils you can use. And this is just a small bottle. I honestly don't know how much is in here, I'm sorry. But in this small bottle of olive oil, I put in um, five drops of rosemary essential oil. And this is actually the rosemary essential oil I used. Um, it's Aura Acacia. Okay, here we go. Very reputable brand. I've been using this brand forever. It's 100% essential oil. Um, they donate part of their proceeds to charity. Um, the origin is Morocco. I believe this is a sustainable company where they're responsible about how they harvest because uh, some of the essential oils out there, if they're not from a reputable company, then you are risking supporting the um, devastation of certain species. Okay, sandalwood is one of them. You want to make sure it's from a sustainable source where they are responsible about how they harvest the sandalwood. Otherwise, they're just going to make it go extinct. And I'll post more on that in the future. Um, so yes, this is rosemary. It's got a very woody, um, pine kind of smell. I love it. It's actually really good for keeping the bugs away also. So if you want to put it in like this carrier oil, and um, because you don't ever want to put a pure essential oil directly on your skin without doing a skin patch test first. And I'll talk about more of that in another vlog. But if you just mix a little bit with the carrier oil, I mean, you could even use canola oil or corn oil if you have it, um, sesame seed oil, grape seed oil. There's a, those are normal oils that mostly everybody has in their cupboard, but there's also 
jojoba oil, primrose seed oil, borage seed oil. There's so many different kinds of base oils you can put out there. And I'm definitely going to put this on me right now because I must be sitting near some red ants and they don't like me right now because I'm sitting on their house, which I don't blame them. I wouldn't like that either. I'd be biting them too. I'd be biting me too, I mean. Okay, so I moved. Hopefully I'm not sitting on their home anymore. My son has uh, respiratory issues. He's got a lot of allergies and a child form of asthma. So one thing I learned in school is that eucalyptus, um, Latin name eucalyptus globulus, not the Samithi, although that one's probably good too, but I don't really like the smell of that one. That one's more mild, um, which is good for kids. But I like the eucalyptus globulus. Now you wanna make sure that children are never, um, you want to make sure that the essential oils are never in the reach of a child or left alone with a child because some of these essential oils, if they were to drink it, they could die, okay? Um, eucalyptus is one where you don't want to um, inhale too much of it or ingest like more than 30 drops because it can be fatal, okay? But this is like a little inhaler I got from the apothecary shop, all right? I bought it empty and for some reason it's stuck, but when you get them, you can pull this bottom part out and there's like a cotton tube. And you just put a few drops of the essential oil on there. I use eucalyptus, I just put like three drops. It lasts a long time. You can keep it closed and it's airtight. It's not see-through, so the essential oil doesn't degrade. But anyway, so when Dante is having some issues, respiratory issues, I just have him sniff this. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, I inhaled too much, but it really clears everything, okay? Um, and I got it labeled eucalyptus. My little pink tube kind of looks like a tampon, but it's not. Okay, so next. Um, back to Burt's Bees. I bought this baby lotion at Price Chopper, which is my grocery store. I personally don't like the smell of this on me, but I mean, it is kind of nice. It smells like a baby, I guess, which most people like the smell of babies. I guess I do too, but I just don't care for the smell of this, but it is natural and it's Burt's Bees who I trust. I bought it for the kids. There's no parabens, no Flay, whatever that word is, P H T H A L A T E S. I don't even know what that is. There's no petroleum or SLS. I don't know what SLS is either, but I'm assuming that if Burt's Bee says they don't have it, it's probably something bad. Um, but yeah, this is a good lotion for anybody with sensitive skin. I notice it's very moisturizing. No animal testing, made in the USA. My favorite mouthwash. Tom's of course. Wicked fresh. It's fluoride free but it is natural. It's good for kids because it's like a mild mint. Um, I noticed that most of the mouthwashes in the grocery store have blue food dye in them and it's like okay first of all that's an artificial color which is linked to cancer. Um, and who wants to put blue food dye in your mouth. You're trying to clean your teeth. You want white teeth, right? It seems like that, that would make your teeth blue and then you'd have to buy more toothpaste to brush that blue off. Now I've never actually seen my teeth turn blue but I just don't understand why they put this unnecessary artificial color in mouthwash when you want white teeth. You don't want a different color teeth. You know what I mean? So that doesn't make sense to me. Um, also from Grove, I talked about Grove earlier. I buy this natural sunscreen for the kids. Um, it's awesome. It sprays, well this one's out because you know it's grapefruit and I love grapefruit. This one's pear. This one smells like perfume. It's amazing. But here let me open it. Now these aren't cheap. They're $17 a bottle but they don't have the bad chemicals in them that are linked to cancer which is like obscene to me because we're putting on sunscreen to prevent one kind of cancer but it's got all this stuff in it that is linked to cancer. So these are natural. They do have sunscreen in them, but they're like the kind that hasn't been found to be linked to cancer. So this is what I get from Grove, $17 a bottle, really easy to apply. You just 
give it a little shake. Turn this little bad boy and spray it. At, oh my God, it feels good. It's lightweight. It's water resistant. Um, it's got four different kinds of sunscreen in it, but it's the natural ones. Uh, made in the USA. Does have some foreign materials in it, but overall, I'm happy with this because um, the options in the supermarket aren't much greater than this. Um, so this is this is water resistant for 80 minutes. SPF 30. Smells awesome. Easy for kids to put on as long as you are watching them so they don't spray it in their nostrils or something. I spray my face. I hold my breath and spray my face, but. Um, you know, some kids might like inhale and then they're inhaling and, and, you know, it's not good to inhale anything other than air, you know, right? Or I guess some essential oils, <laughs> as long as you're not like inhaling liquid, you just particles. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is the sunscreen I use and just a few more things. This I found in Price Shopper. This is a mud mask, okay? It's a little bit expensive. It's $3 for this, which is like, I can spread this into two uses. Um, African, I guess that's not expensive, but I'm kind of frugal. So this is Shia Moisture Established 1912 African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask with Tamarind Extract and Tea Tree Oil. Tea Tree Oil is great for blemishes. It's um, antifungal. It's anti a lot of stuff, like um, it's got a lot of natural stuff in it. Calendula, which is great for healing. Um, it's got Shia, which is great for your skin. This is cruelty free, certified B corporation, ethically traded, sustainably produced. I like that. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this, any kind of mud mask, is I have like large pores. And so when I put a mud mask on that's brown, sometimes it's hard for me to get the mask out of my pores. So I have to kind of scrub. So that's the only thing about this. I mean, it does like, it does brighten up your complexion and it does help with blemishes, but if you've already got large pores, it darkens them and then you have to scrub it out and that's kind of annoying. But other than that, I'm happy with that. I, my kids use it. They don't have large pores like I do yet. Hopefully they never will. But um, yeah, even my kids like it. So the last thing I'm going to show you today is something I made for school. It's a lavender room spray. Woo! I get these bottles from the apothecary shop online. It's um, like an herbal store that's connected to the American College of Healthcare Sciences. And this is made with lavender essential oil, water, and 91% alcohol. You give it a shake every time you use it. Now this is not just a room spray. This is actually something that you can spray on your body as well. It's a body spray. It's a bug spray. It's like, I spray it on my face and let it dry. It's good if you have headaches, you can spray it. The lavender helps um, <clears throat> helps you sleep well at night, it relaxes you. Now this is lavender and gustifolia, not to be confused with lavendin. Lavendin is another variety of lavender, but it's more stimulating, whereas lavender and gustifolia is a relaxing type lavender. Um, so this can also be used for like a pillow refresher, a linen spray, you know, to freshen up your linen. Um, it kills like dust mites. Um, and it's a good, I said bug spray I believe, because bugs don't really like lavender. They don't really like too many of the essential oils, so a lot of them you can put on you know, with like um, a base. You don't, you want to dilute it either with water and alcohol or with a base oil before putting it on, um, especially if you've never done a skin patch test. Okay, so I will be posting more and more about how to make some of like this type of stuff. And anytime I find a good product that I want to show you, I will. 
Until then, do the best you can. Try to live more natural and you will have a healthier, happier life. Cheers.